Don't bother with Tacitus. Useless. Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brother... Oh, oh, I... My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked? What I need... What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin, Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But... Well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. If you can, I want you to kill someone else, as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield, in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies, too, I'll make it worth your while. I went to Windhelm to see the Shatter Shields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning. Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern, while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family, in their grief, and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of... monster. Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. You see? I was like a daughter to Tova. A sister to Nilsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No. They treated me like garbage, threw me away. With Nilsine dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not... May she drown in her own tears. I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine, too. But lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Just coat your weapon with it. Then... You get the idea. Make them all pay for what they've done to me. I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Waylon and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. 
Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. Be careful who you talk to. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Ah, yes. Rented the nicest room we had for a whole month. I think she's sitting by the fire. Poor girl. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markarth. Oh, it's you. The one from the market. No. I was just buying jewelry for my sister in Cyrodiil. I've never even seen that man before. Just visiting. I had some business here, that's all. Was it that obvious? Damn, I must be losing my touch. I'm one of General Tullius's agents. I was sent to investigate the Treasury House and the Silverblood family. They own Sidna Mine, one of the toughest jails in Skyrim. I was hoping I could buy or steal the deed, but I don't think that's how things work here. Mark my words. Thonar Silverblood was behind that attack in the market. Somehow. I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. You're finding it. That's bad enough. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. The city's got eyes. Be careful when you're out there. Once you've found out anything, come straight to me. So the clues point to the Treasury House, then. That makes sense. Thonar is involved in every facet of the city. Here's the gold I promised. Keep following the trail, and there will be more in it for you. The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? That's right. Welcome to Markarth, Traveler. Thank the Divines you can choose to live somewhere else. Oh yes, I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. Trust is hard to come by here, but all right. Uh-huh. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Someone who doesn't like you asking questions. Come on, let's see what you're made of. Looks like you weren't followed. Good. Nepos the Nose? He's been in Markarth forever, and he's well respected among the natives of the Reach. 
Good work. Here's your gold. I have a feeling Nepos gets his own orders, though. If you find out, I'll have more for you. Excuse me. What's your business here? We haven't been expecting you, and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. Wait. It's okay, my dear. Send her in. <laughs> yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. Because my king told me to. Madanok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how, but he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. My dear girl, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. I'm sorry. You can't. Did you hear something? Huh? You can't hide from me. It's all clear now. just had to go and cause trouble. Now you have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Thornar and Madanak until you and Eltra started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the King and Rags when you're in Sidna Mine. You'll never see the sun again. You hear me? No one escapes Sidna Mine. No one. All right, prisoner. Eyes front. You're in Sidna Mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no resting your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? You won't. 
The Jarl has ordered a life sentence for you. Get comfortable in the dark, cause you'll never see the sun again. All right, open her up. Now you, get down there. behind my daughter, Uale, when I was taken. What are you in for, new blood? Violent one, huh? Best keep that to yourself, new blood. Others find out, they'll consider that a challenge. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. Small blade, easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's face, but people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here Grisvar has a spare, if you could get him to part with it. If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madinak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkel the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkel the Beast. Madinok's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. All right, then. The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? A true killer like me. The gods put us here to fill their halls with souls. You'll fit in fine down here. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> Ugh. Fine. Go on in. But don't try anything in there. Madanok knows more than you think. All right, then. Well, well, look at you. The Nords have turned you into an animal. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? Your freedom? Yes, but even if you were to escape Sidna Mine, your name would still be stained with all that blood. You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of the Nord stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. So many say that, at first, until they realize the truth. If you change your mind, speak to Bragg. Tell him I sent you. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. Our vengeance will come. Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. I'm a Forsworn. One of our raids went bad and I got captured. Would have been fine dying for the Reach with my kinsmen, but the Silver Bloods want their ore mine, so they threw me in here. Until next time.
I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn. The Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Forsworn. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma. Finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just thinking about it. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. I'll have that shiv ready for you. Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. Good All right. Stuff. You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. Getting the shakes, huh? All right, take it. Old gods keep you. Good day. Here's your shiv. Promise you won't ever use it on me, okay? Until next time. You're not a thief trying to rob me, right?
My eyes inside Sidna Mine tell me that Madanak is dead. You've done a great service to the Silver Blood family. I've had the Jarl officially pardon you and take care of a few other loose ends. And you've proven that was the best move I could have made. Don't give me that look, you're free to go. Here, how about a little token for your efforts? My family's ring and all the things the guards confiscated from you when you were jailed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to figure out how we're going to fill our recently emptied mine. Brad ain't <laughs> Someone there?
Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. Well, what news? Is Elaine... Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And... I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment, and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. You're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You must understand. If Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. Dear sister, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Watch yourself out there. Alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! 
No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear. Cicero, such a humble servant, but he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Moutier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery! More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the Keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> My <laughs> Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. Oh, I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to her, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true. It's true. The Night Mother has...
When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you? Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just... the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrood. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No! Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg! Wait! <laughs> the listener is serious! <laughs> oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now, or later, or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Oh, the listener, well, listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must. For her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood incarnate. Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen, <laughs> tried so hard, but the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost... maddening. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting.
Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Hmm, all right, how about this? Shadows creep, and, and phantoms leap. A man's got, he's got scared, and the demons dared to, uh, visit upon him all which they feared brilliant i know it's a gift much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Rogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. Rogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Rogar started it himself. That's what they say. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. Oh, it ain't right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did, though. Might even pay to find out. All right, then. So... Life has brought you to Morthal, and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. Rogar's house fire? Hell, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? Rogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alpha. On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Who's there? Is that you, father? <laughs> Helgi, the father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? You know him? He made my favorite dolly, but I can't find her. Are you sure you aren't a stranger? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. But I'm lonely. Will you play with me? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing, too, and she can't come out until then. I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you.
Make my let go away. me too, but I'm glad you found me first. Layla was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. He Layla. wanted to play with me she forever and ever. Beard. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Layla thought she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep for a while now. Layla. She's dead, he's beard. She's She's dead. Layalette is dead. Layalette. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh my poor Layalette. She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared. She was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods, you think Alva is a vampire? No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leilet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alva had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alva is not what you think. Is Hrogar innocent or not? So it's true, the traitorous bitch. Morthal owes you a debt. Here, you were promised a reward for solving the crime, but I need one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movarth, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movarth's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. I want vengeance for my wife. Vengeance for Laylet. We're marching on Movar's lair, whether you come with us or not. Be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
Seems like you have a bit of gold left in your pockets, don't you, my friend? Hmm, yes. Let me just take this coin purse off your hands for you. And those nice boots you've got there. Now. <laughs> Thank you. 
mother's calling me. It's time for me to sleep now. I'm so tired. Thank you for making her feel better. Well, look at you. If only everyone acted like you did. By the eight, I didn't think he could do it. Now maybe we can put all this behind us. Take this as a token of our gratitude. There is room in my court for a new thing. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. As you wish. Mm -hmm. If you've business with the Jarl, I'd ask that you speak to me first. There aren't any houses for sale in Morthal, but if you're interested, I could sell you land in the hold where you could build your own house. Excellent. We're glad to have you as a landowner in Hjalmarch. Here's the title to your steading. If you don't mind getting your feet wet, your best bet is to head north past the mill. The odd tomb or two along the way won't bother you. The land is on the coast, across from the Karth Delta from Solitude. An inspiring location, as you'll see. We need to talk. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm?